What's up guys, Derek from RepleteSmartAce.com. Today we're going to be talking about Glycerol. So this is a product we recently released via Gorilla Mind, and um, I've received a lot of questions about it. It's actually kind of a dark horse uh, product that seems to be gaining even more uh, hype than I anticipated to the point where um, people have been demanding I make a video on it. <laughs> and um, that's fine with me. Like, to be honest, like I'm trying to uh, like single ingredient products i sort of like didn't think many of you guys would want me to do like a full breakdown of it because i don't know i guess it was just like too salesy i usually do like a plug at the end of my video so i wasn't sure if you'd want like a full dedicated one but i've had enough requests now of how to use this you know what applications it may have for it to warrant its own post um so basically what can you expect from glycerol again by the way as a preface to this this is not mandatory by any means and frankly in a bodybuilding context, glycerol mega dose pre-workout is more of like a novelty than a significant performance enhancing benefit. So as of now, Gorilla Mode already has three grams of glycer pump in it. Gorilla Mode Nitric already has four grams of glycer pump in it. However, one thing you'll note about pre-workouts and glycerol, or glycerol, however you want to say it, is that um, it's impossible to put in a like very, very maxed out dose in it because it's simply too much powder and it ruins the powder consistency. So if you've ever tried to mix pure glycerol, you'll know exactly why. Uh, mega dosing it is very problematic. If we included more than like first of all glycerol is standardized to 65 percent glycerol like gl glycer pump is only six is 65 percent glycerol not 100 percent glycerol and it's also created in a very elaborate way that prevents it from clumping like it's not pure glycerol pure glycerol is very very clumpy so to have the product not turn into a rock in a tub and for it to mix properly whatsoever even though this is like on the market the four grams of glycer pump is considered a high dose, but you can see for yourself having a maxed out dose, this is just pure glycerol in one tub. So you can imagine how big our pre-workout would be if we tried to include like 10 to 20 to 30 grams of glycerol in each serving. And above and beyond that, it would have ruined the rest of the product because it would have arrived and been clumpy as hell combined with all the other ingredients and people would have, you know, it would have ruined the whole product. And I talked about why we use glycer pump in my uh, breakdown video of Gorilla Mode and Gorilla Mode Nitric. So anyway, this is why this is a separate product that can be, it's optionally stacked on top. And to be honest, it's a lot more uh, applicable to stacking than I otherwise thought people would be interested in. Like I stack it on top of Gorilla Mode or Gorilla Mode Nitric or Gorilla Mode Stim. Like it stacks with all of them, regardless of which one you're using, it'll stack on top because it is, simply a hyperhydrating agent that increases, uh, basically acts as a, uh, works as a plasma expander and a hyperhydrating agent. It helps you get a uh, better pumps, better mind muscle connection, better endurance. Like frankly, in a bodybuilding context, though, like I said, it's not necessary, nor is pre-workout really necessary at all. Anyways, it's all sort of to, uh, you know, enhance a uh, mind muscle connection, get you motivated, get you, uh, you know, get a couple more extra reps out of your tank kind of thing. It's not like it's going to be the make or break if you build muscle or not, but you know, we all love our pre-workout. So glycerol is something that can be added to any of them for an extra boost in that, uh, in a different vector of performance than every other pre-workout is focusing on. So basically how it works, it significantly enhances pumps and performance by hyperhydrating the muscle with water. So if you drink a lot of water, with nothing else in hopes of hyperhydrating your muscles, the fall in osmolarity in the body stimulates the kidneys to remove most of the excess water within an hour. So this is where glycerol comes into play. If you add glycerol to water, this prevents that drop in osmolarity and can extend the hyperhydration of your muscles by up to four hours. So by adding glycerol to your pre-workout, you can hold potentially upwards of an extra liter of water via this hyperhydrating effect. And you'll note, um, we don't have a lot of reviews like on the actual product page because I don't know what it is about people in reviews. Like they, they'll post, I have like literally hundreds of reviews at, the, at this point on my Instagram and in my highlight reel, you'll see uh, reviews all the time of the products, but on the actual like product page, um, you're not gonna see a whole lot of reviews about it, but there's been very good feedback to date 
with uh, people adding this and getting uh, awesome pumps with it above and beyond what you would already get, which is already ridiculous with Gorilla Mode and Gorilla Mode Nitric. So by adding the glycerol, you can get an extra edge, which you already have a significant edge with Gorilla Mode and Gorilla Mode Nitric, but even above and beyond that, it's basically a way to flush the muscle with even more water than you would otherwise be able to get in hydration is obviously one of the most critical factors when it comes to performance. And I don't know if you've seen that statistic, but it's like only a 2% loss in fluids can result in as much as a 20% decrease in exercise performance. And exercise performed for more than an hour in a hot and humid environment can cause fluid loss exceeding three liters. Now, most athletes do not drink enough to offset this effect of dehydration during training or competition, even when given unlimited access to fluid. So aside from massive pumps, glycerol use has shown to increase endurance by as much as 24%, as well as improve aerobic and anaerobic power and performance. Dehydration in athletes alters cardiovascular and thermoregulatory function and may inhibit endurance exercise capacity if fluid loss exceeds 2% of body weight. This is what I mentioned earlier. If this level of dehydration cannot be prevented when starting from a state of you hydration, then athletes may create a state of hyperhydration by consuming extra fluid prior to exercise. From this hyperhydrated situation, individuals have a greater capacity to tolerate fluid loss before becoming dehydrated. Furthermore, excess pre-exercise fluid intake enhances thermoregulatory ability as well as increasing plasma volume to maintain cardiac output. However, hyperhydrating before exercise is difficult because a large fluid intake is typically accompanied by diuresis. Glycerol containing beverages create a, an osmotic gradient in the circulation favoring fluid retention, thereby facilitating hyperhydration and protecting against dehydration. Many studies have shown that increases in body water by one liter or more are achievable through glycerol hyperhydration. So there are contradictory studies showing that glycerol has like no performance enhancing benefit. And there are some showing that it is, uh, you know, fairly substantial. It kind of depends on exactly what you're doing. If you're an endurance athlete, this is going to be far more useful than somebody who is working out for an hour in the gym. But with that being said, a lot of guys are loving this product for like literally even novelty purposes just to get a bit of a better pump and it can create a ridiculous pump is it going to make you like way more jacked no it's probably not going to make any difference whatsoever in muscle growth maybe you could indirectly like stretch the fascia a bit more or squeeze out another rep above and beyond what you already get with the pre-workout but i mean it's more of a thing to stack for it to be it's fun to add on top it makes the workouts funner um it tastes good and it uh produces noticeable difference, honestly. Like you'll feel a difference in your pump when you use it. How much of that is a significant performance enhancing benefit? Like potentially negligible at the end of the day. And this is why I'm warning you ahead of time. This is certainly not a mandatory product whatsoever. Neither are any supplements really, except for like creatine, which by the way, saturation dose of creatine is in here. So you don't have to buy it separately anymore if you're using our pre-workout. So like I mentioned earlier, most pre-workouts only contain a couple grams of glycerol and it's usually it's glycer pump because they or um, a different form of uh, standardized glycerol that's trademarked that is, you know, created in a way to not have it clump up and it's at a dosage that's not going to have a tub that's this big. <laughs> so if you want to get an actual dose that is uh, like represented in the clinical literature of what they're using to hyperhydrate athletes, you're going to need to use something like this on top of your pre-workout. So like I mentioned, nitric and mode, nitric has four grams, which is, you know, like a top of industry dose. And um, like, if you've seen the scoop, it's it's ridiculously big already. And this is for, <laughs> this is for one scoop. This is the serving size. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but anyways, this is one scoop. The full dose for pre-workout is two scoops, which is 35 grams of actives which is a ridiculously high amount as is so you can just imagine what adding another like 20 to 30 grams of powder on top of that would look like so this is why the glycerol <laughs> scoop you know it looks like this but ab above and beyond that like it's such a clumpy powder that it pretty much will ruin a pre-workout if you're using a high enough dose if you've tried it you know how gritty this stuff is it's not pleasant to mix it's impossible to mix up properly to be honest so this is also why it's made separately because it's going to ruin the consistency of literally all of these, not just in a clumping aspect in the bottle and the jug, but when you put it in your shaker cup, like you'll literally have residue on the side of your shaker from this. I don't need to elaborate further on why it's not in the actual pre-workouts at a 
like 20 gram dose for all the reasons I outlined already. So basically anything that we have pre-workout wise, Gorilla Mode Stim, Gorilla Mode, Gorilla Mode Nitric, any of these can be stacked with glycerol for a boost in intramuscular hyperhydration and endurance. And you know, like most pump products that you see on the market are going to work by increasing nitric oxide production, which leads to increased vasodilation, which is, you know, L-citrulline, things of that nature. That's kind of what those are leveraging. But the hyperhydration aspect through glycerol is a totally different vector that is completely unaddressed by most pre-workouts. Um, and it increases vascularity and pumps via this totally different vector. So it's like stacking on top a whole nother layer of different effects, I guess, even though the end outcome is essentially you getting a ridiculous pump that uh, is bordering on painful in some instances, to be honest. So by raising the osmotic pressure within bodily fluids, glycerol supports increased movement of water throughout the body. And this supports an increase of intramuscular hydration and overall volume of the muscle belly. So while weight training, you can expect a pretty substantial increase in hyperhydration that supports better pumps, more vascularity, um, better mind muscle connection too, while you have that pump and arguably improve nutrient uh, delivery to the muscle as well, which is, you know, potentially a bit of a reach to be honest. But I mean, a lot of people would argue that that are marketing the stuff. Frankly, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say it's going to make any difference on that whatsoever, but it's certainly plausible to assume that it may have some you know, potential for that. It's probably going to be negligible at the end of the day, though. Re realistically, you're using this shit for a ridiculous pump or you're an endurance athlete that otherwise would benefit from the uh, hyperhydration support that you would otherwise have a difficult time doing prior to an endurance-based event. So it works well as a standalone, too. A lot of people ask me, should I use it, you know, like instead of nitric? And I'm like, hey, you can't, frankly, you can't really compare the two because nitric has a big dose of glycer pump in it already, as well as a myriad of other compounds that leverage literally even inhibiting um, ACE, like ACE inhibitors in there too, through VasoDrive AP. We have 10 grams of L-citrulline. We have 1,500 milligrams of nitrosagine. We have um, a giant dose of uh, um, betaine anhydrous. We have um, basically every single aspect of a pump formula you would want in here. We've Maxed out, sodium nitrate, 1,500 milligrams, agmatine sulfate, everything, even malic acid added separately on top of it. Not artificially inflating the L-citrulline content, having a separate 10 gram L-citrulline and a separate three grams of malic acid on top of that. So you can't really compare glycerol to nitric at all. They're totally different. So, and there is four grams of glycer pump in nitric already. So if you, what you want, like nitric is a better pump formula, but it's also because it has like every single vector completely maxed out from every single aspect. So if you just want a hyperhydrating formula that tastes good and is um, supports better pumps and I guess is more cost effective, then yeah, like by all means, try uh, glycerol on its own. You can even stack it with our um, stim only pre-workout that is cost effective version of um, Gorilla Mode Classic, but basically like doubled the dose of all of the uh, cognitive enhancing elements with exception of caffeine and N-phenethyl dimethylamine citrate, obviously, which are increased still, but we, we're we not going to double those because we're going to give somebody a heart attack if we do that. So we doubled the L-tyrosine, makes the mood elevation very, very apparent, and it makes you feel like, you know, really energized and like looking forward to working out and motivated. Um, we doubled the Kana in there. We have 375 milligrams of caffeine, 375 N-phenethyl dimethylamine citrate, who pairs DNA still at a high dose. And it's cost-effective alternative to mode or nitric potentially too. And you could theoretically stack glycerol on top of it. What we have on the site though, that I think is the most potent combo possible. We call it the ultimate pre-workout stack is basically like mode is actually you could argue the cost effective alternative to everything because it's the hybrid of the NO precursors, the hyperhydrating agents, the plasma expanders, the um, cognitive enhancing component, the stimulant complex, all at very high dosages in itself in one turnkey product. But if you wanted to max out literally everything in every single aspect, you would get nitric separately because this is like even in, has a few ingredients that is not included in mode and the Nitric oxide precursors, hyperhydrating agents, plasma expanders are at an even higher dose than this. Um, and there's an ACE inhibitor and there's sodium nitrate, etc. This is the maxed out stim junkie formula. So theoretically the best combo, if you like didn't care about budget at all, would be stacking nitric with stim. 
And then if you wanted the ultimate pre-workout combination, and the, it should be in the bundle section of our site, you would stack nit <laughs> nitric, like one to two scoops, depending what how much you wanna use, stem, start low, because it's very potent, the max out would be like two scoops of this, two scoops of this. If you're a stim junkie, you're probably better off with like two scoops of this and like one scoop of this realistically. Coupled with however many scoops of this as you want based on the suggested use. So the way I designed the formula was basically extrapolated from um, a study done where they basically determined what the best way to use this stuff was. So I'm trying to find the study here. I saved it a while ago. It's in my... Uh, my uh, directory here. Like again, before I go uh, you know, on a tangent about it, let's just circle back quick and like explain exactly what you should expect from this again. So one of these studies showing glycerol intake limit and hyperhydration and glycerol solutions, um, basically the studies demonstrated a new and presumably safe method to promote a state of hyperhydration that persists over a four hour period. And this is one of the first instance, instances where glycerol was used via oral ingestion and the potential of multiple glycerol dosages with glycerol and water showed its efficacy in extending the hyperhydration window of an athlete for many hours or even days if wanted to. So the glycerol ingestion presumably increased intracellular water in the study and thereby has the potential for greater total body water expansion than do plasma expanders. So as glycerol is metabolized or excreted in the urine, the water retained by the glycerol would be available for maintenance of plasma volume as water loss by sweating or other avenues persist. The extent to which work performance will be improved by this method of hyperhydration remains to be tested. So again, this is all a little bit of extrapolation and this is not like a 100%, like I mentioned, I'm not gonna harp back on, uh, this is not something that's going to massively make a difference in your performance if you're just a bodybuilder working out for an hour. Or uh, so, um, the studies are interesting though and support its use in a variety of contexts. And for us, just for novelty purposes, it's actually very, very fun to deploy in my opinion, it gives a better mind-muscle connection. Above and beyond that, going on to the pre-exercise glycerol hydration improves cycling endurance time. This is exactly where I extrapolated my formula from. So obviously when you're looking at these glycerol dosages, it's kind of hard to speculate as to how much you should be using. So, um, as well as how much water you should mix it in. So again, going back to the data in this one, basically they looked at in a model of hydration presented by Greenleaf, hyperhydration is described as a steady state of increased body water, glycerol when combined with adequate volumes of water and given enough time for absorption and distribution appears to achieve the state. Previous data demonstrate that a single ingestion of glycerol can achieve this for up to four hours and that ongoing ingestion of glycerol and water can maintain a hyperhydrated state for up to 40 hours. Um, so this data is actually where I pulled the, uh, formula from. So basically they had a protocol for athletes that involved nearly two liters of liquid intake mixed with glycerol. And they mentioned how it may be excessive for running or other weight bearing activities. So again, this is not set in stone. This is why I had to extrapolate it to have an applicable formula for, us going to the gym as regular gym goers, and then obviously the endurance athletes, there's actually a separate protocol for you guys. So the protocol in the study that I was going off of involves starting glycerol ingestion 2.5 hours before exercise as follows. This is not how I recommend you use it. I'm just saying this is where I kind of like pulled my, how I determined the dosages on the suggested use. So in this, they had five, drinking five milliliters per kilogram of a 20% glycerol solution, starting two and a half hours before exercise. Um, a 20% solution is 200 milligrams per milliliter for your reference. After 30 minutes, you would drink five milliliters per kilogram of water again. 15 minutes later, you would drink five milliliters per, per kilogram of water. And when I, that's basically like however many kilograms your body weight is, you drink that multiple of five milliliters. Um, another 15 minutes later, you drink one milliliter per kilogram of a 20% glycerol solution and five milliliters per kilogram of additional plain water on top of that. Wait 30 minutes, then drink five milliliters per kilogram of pure water. Begin to exercise one hour later. So if the event lasts more than two hours, ingesting a 5% glycerol solution at the rate of 400 to 800 milliliters per hour during the event may be beneficial. They stated, obviously you should note that side effects of headaches and blurred vision may occur with high dosages. So it's not really recommended, especially if you're just going to the gym, you don't need 
the ridiculous dosages I outlined in the suggested use for like a endurance athlete. And you're probably going to feel sick, to be honest, if you take too much glycerol or you take it too concentrated. So there's no advantage to increasing the intake above 1.2 grams per kilogram because the extra glycerol and water are excreted in the urine. So basically I had to extrapolate this protocol that was in the study and figure out what kind of ratio and solution concentration would be able to be workable in this formula and one that came out to like a reasonably understandable number where it was like a very flat amount, like 10 grams per something. So if you look at the suggested use on the bottle and I'll pull it up here on the screen for you guys to look at as I go through it. As a dietary supplement, mix one scoop of glycerol in eight ounces of water and consume 30 minutes prior to training. So this was the old recommendation that I've since updated to 14 ounces of water because it was too gritty. As much as the, this was like an exact match for the protocol in the study. I extrapolated, converted the units of measurement, um, took uh, the grams, converted it to, uh, first I converted the kilograms of body weight to pounds per gram. Then I took the amount of water per gram of powder, extrapolated how much water would equate to how much per gram and blah, blah, blah. I did a bunch of math and I came out to how you would get a, um, basically one scoop of 10 grams was equated to per eight ounces of water. I know that sounds like it's impossible to follow what I'm saying right now, but basically the idea that extrapolating from that protocol, I came up with a ratio of per one scoop of 10,000 milligrams of this stuff, you would need eight ounces of water. Since then, I've come to realize that this is way too gritty to have an eight ounces of water. So I've since updated it to 14 ounces of water per scoop. Like we don't need that concentrated of an amount for what 99% of us are doing anyway. So. Um, I didn't think it was worth keeping it at the eight ounce amount. And it was just like almost intolerably gritty at that eight ounce amount. So it's since been updated. So it's now 14 ounces, despite the current site saying eight ounces, hopefully I'll probably update this pretty soon here. And the next uh, batch of the stuff will be updated accordingly. So if you're watching this and you want to know how to use it, go one scoop per 14 ounces of water instead of eight. So for all intents and purposes, these eight treat as 14 on the suggested use. So as a dietary supplement, mix one scoop of glycerol and 14 ounces of water and consume 30 minutes prior to training. How much more do you need? Like I have the suggested use all the way up to 100 grams for a 84 kilogram human. Do you need that much? No, you don't. Like you're not, unless you're competing in like a fucking Tour de France, you do not need that much. This is just for the most bottom end of the reference all the way up to like the max possible amount that you could use before there's a cutoff and you like really need to stop. So like I said, um, if you want to have more than 10 grams, like frankly, you probably only need 10 above and beyond what you're already using in your pre-workout or even as it's on its own solo. But if you want to use more, you can add another 14 ounces of water per additional scoop of glycerol. Do not exceed, like the study said, 1.2 grams 1200 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So for example, this was more extrapolation to kind of show you what a max out dose would be for somebody who's like 185 pounds. So 83.9146 kilograms equated to, the reason I picked such a weird art like number is because I wanted to show what like a normal weight in pounds would equate to that equal to a normal gram amount, the max out, which is a hundred. It was just a nice flat number. So that's what I went with. So for somebody who weighs 185 pounds, which is that kilogram amount, the maximum glycerol dose you would use, be able to use is 100 grams or 100,000 milligrams, which is 10 scoops of this stuff. You're not gonna use that much, frankly. You're not gonna need that much unless you are a cyclist or something. So if your training sessions last more than two hours and you're sweating a lot, then mix one scoop of glycerol per 14 ounces of water and consume, um, 28 to 42 ounces of water per hour throughout training. And that should be like the most intense of whoever's watching this video, that would probably be the protocol for you. But for most of us that are just going to the gym, just stick with one scoop. There's a hundred servings in this, so it's going to last you a long time and it's a perfect thing to add on top of whatever you're currently using. It's a very good thing to stack and this is why I actually, I added a bundle to the bundle section where you can get a more favorable price discounted on stacking this with any of the three pre-workouts. So there is a deal for glycerol plus stem. There's a deal for glycerol plus nitric. There's a deal for glycerol plus mode. And obviously the ultimate pre-workout stack, which is nitric, stem, and glycerol all together. 
is at a very favorable price break as well for getting all three of them at the same time. So that's it. Honestly, it's a, this was way longer than it should have been for what I, uh, for talking about one ingredient, but um, it's uh, honestly doing very well. I'm very happy with uh, the response to it. I wasn't even, um, I wasn't expecting this many people to uh, really want to add it on. Like I've been using it for a while now and I figured, you know, like some people might think it's a, uh, you know, fun thing to add on top of their praise as well, like I do. I didn't expect such a positive response though. So I'm happy you guys really like it and like the idea. And it's a, a unique thing I haven't seen any companies doing. Check it out if it interests you. It's going to be, a, it's a very cost effective. It's going to last you a long time. Um, like realistically, if you're working out like four or five days a week, if you use one scoop per workout, like this thing's gonna last you months. So very cost effective and um, a nice thing to add on. It's fun to use, frankly. So. Um, check it out if that interests you. Link is in the description below, gorillamind.com slash Derek. And the coupon code, like I said, is DC10 for 10% off your order. Um, and anything else I'm associated with, links are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Um, follow me on Instagram, at moreplates underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. I suggest you follow the Gorilla Mind Instagram and Facebook too if you want to stay up to date on stuff that we're coming out with, as well as um, like new product launches. Um, breakdowns of certain products. Like sometimes I'll release stuff on the Gorilla Mind pages that I don't really release on here because typically I'm trying to make like content for you guys rather than just like a pure product plug video. But yeah, like obviously if there's a high enough demand, like anything that's a comprehensive formula, I'm going to explain my scientific breakdowns, those elaborate deep dives. But for single ingredient products, I've sort of just been firing some of them out without making these like deep dives. So I guess uh, let me know what you think about that and check out the Gorilla Mind pages, support the brand if you want to support me. Um, and uh, all your guys' support is much appreciated. Gorilla Mind is growing exponentially and uh, I couldn't be happier with how it's going. And a lot of it is you guys are to thank for that, to be honest. Like you guys, uh, from day one, you guys helped me build this brand into something that's turning into something amazing. And it's giving uh, us the leverage to bring in like high tier athletes too who also like use our stuff even before I even reach out to them and uh, want to promote it too because they believe in the brand too and the community being built with Gorilla Mind, I'm like, I couldn't be happier with. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.